People think it's ironic using the internet to ban the internet. Even more ironic that a cat will be doing it. What? As I understand it, cats are popular on the internet, which makes this takedown even more poetic. So, let's get started with a few suppression news items. Today, I am delighted to announce that Articles 11 and 13 passed by the EU Parliament. Shawnee was so happy he went on a bender. No one knows when he'll be back. Now you have to pay linking to all information on the internet, including newspapers and even little snippets of video. It'll keep small innovators out of the market. What a slam dunk. This will bring the internet to its knees. Free speech. You've met your match. You think that the EU is led by drunkards, buffoons and totalitarian lunatics. Now, in fairness, there is some truth to that. But look what they've done. They've done immense damage to the greatest communication system ever devised. And hardly anyone even knows it happened. That is some achievement. As Shawnee likes to say, fair play to them. Google is censoring and booting people off their platform. They're firing employees like James Damar. He wrote the wrong things in a private memo. Twitter and Facebook are closing in on certain unfavorable viewpoints. Even this new website, dissenter.com, the free speech platform, in inverted commas, is, is down today for some strange and mysterious reason. Wonder what that is. Now, things are going very well indeed in the suppression Olympics. It won't be long now till the whole world is taken offline. Stay tuned for as long as you're able to. I just love the irony. Now, as long as the internet is up, will you subscribe to the channel? There's a good lad. Good luck now. See us next time. Jimmy, you can stop rolling now. Good man. <clears throat> are, you going, are you going for a point later? Alright.